Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back to another YouTube video looking at the Junior CTF uh, Capture the Flag competition that was going on last week. Um, another challenge called Southern Cross uh, Crypto Challenge, um, 300 points. I can show this one off. Um, so they showcase this Confederacy Cipher Disc, um, which seemingly is a disc that has a specific key that you can encode phrases with. Just like classic cryptography. Um, so the challenge here is that we encrypted the phrase, here it is. Now I'll encode a famous story and you'll try to decode it. Uh, it's very interesting to read the whole story over it. So this link, these ellipses, is actually a link to a ciphertext you can download. So it's just a big text file. So go ahead and download that. Um, I'll open it so we have it. And it's just words. Oh, turn off word wrap. Can I do that in... Jedit? Wow. Jedit sucks. Whatever. Oh, I closed it. That was dumb. Regardless, <laughs> there's this JavaScript thing that allows you to, like, turn their version of the thing, like, left and right. I don't know if they actually, like, wanted you to do the challenge this way, or probably, just, I'm sure it was just a red herring, because honestly, they don't do that. That sucks and stupid. Um, but you get that ciphertext, so the idea is to decode it, um... So what I want to do is I want to look up this Confederacy cipher disk because I'm curious, like, okay, what is that? Does it have any, like, easy online things? And I Google it, do a little bit of research. So apparently, obviously, a mechanical wheel, mechanical disk, um, created for the Confederate stuff in history and things. Um, <laughs> but it's regardless, it's based on the veneer cipher. So, okay, cool. Um, I know about the veneer cipher. I don't know how it works, but, I mean, there's totally a bunch of veneer cipher solvers all over the internet. So, uh, the one that I use almost constantly whenever I find a veneer cipher is the, the geocaching profile one. So, uh, let me get that cipher text one more time. I think it's... Let's download it again. Probably sounded really weird in the mic. All right, so we can paste this encrypted text in there, and it's a big, disgusting story. Um, and I say, I don't know what the shift key is, so no, please try and determine it and figure it out for me. And I just tell you, code break. And this nice online tool does it for me. I've seen, like, some stuff with Feather Duster, which is a cool module and stuff for cryptography. Not, okay, not an actual Feather Duster, but Feather Duster GitHub. <laughs> An automated modular crypt analysis tool, which is super cool. Um, and I think it has some veneer, some veneer cipher stuff. Um, and I've seen others to, like, some other Python code to break veneers. But they even have some stuff in their tests and examples. Um, yeah, veneer and test vi break veneer. Yeah, veneer cipher text and, and, and stuff like that. Um, but this online one does it okay. So when I have internet, I'm fine with using this. So they find that this key is supposedly Bolivar, because it's Bolivar repeated over and over and over again, and that does get some plain text. I'll try and zoom in here. This is probably hard for you to read. Uh, 20 miles west of Tucson, the sunsets expressed, etc. So this is English, so that looks good to me. Um, at first glance, it would make sense to try and submit the key as the actual flag. As usual, that is the wrong <laughs> uh, idea you should have for the CTF. That didn't work. That is not the flag. Um, they say very cryptically and discreet in the challenge prompt, don't forget to reach the end of the text. The ending is greatly important. So, uh, again, a complete guess, a complete a shot in the dark that I took. But if you scroll through to literally the very end of the message, um, there is a notion here that says, Bolivar cannot carry double. And because I just saw Bolivar, because I saw the key, I'm like, oh, I wonder if that is it. I wonder if that's the flag. And I copied that <laughs> and pasted it, and that was the flag. So, again, no real notion. I mean, I don't know if uh, he will settle at 185, said Dodson. Uh, Bolivar cannot carry double. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should have. Maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe there should have been more hints and more clues that I completely was blind to. But uh, I submitted that and got the flag. So that's the Southern Cross challenge for the Junior CTF. Um, this Confederacy cipher disk, which behind the scenes is just the veneer cipher, which isn't too difficult with an online cracker. And if you wanted to, I'm sure you could find some stuff in Python or, or work with Feather Duster to uh, do something more automated that you don't need an online crutch for but that's it so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed one and i'll showcase some of the other 
challenges real, real soon. Adios.